Hello everybody, it's Simon. Okay, this is just a little short test flight, just to make sure everything's in order. I've uh, done a little bit of preventative maintenance and switched over the uh, swash plate. Uh, the old one was getting horribly loose on its ball. So we'll see how we go. I'm hoping that I haven't upset the uh, beautiful onboard video I was getting from this helicopter. Very hard to tell the state of trim because it's one of those days where outside the shelter of the trees it's uh, gusting in excess of 30 miles per hour. And that was nearly a 8 mile an hour face plant into a bush. <laughs> there she is. She actually feels more responsive for it. Tighter, oops, little DVR. Right, let's just have a quick look at the blade track, then I'll flick to idle two. Seems to be okay to me. Right, let's land because of the wind and the enclosed space. Okay, idle two. Whoa! Let's have another look at the blade track because it can be different. No, that's spot on. Right, so I hope the onboard video is okay. How do I look? Nobody shout dopey. Gosh, <laughs> with the wind just caught it then. That hover position on this stick, so yeah, it's about where it was. And whoosh. <laughs> Holds pretty true, Rob. Right, let's land. There we go. Yeah, so I uh, don't know as you, you can see just as the blades spin down but there's a nice new titanium coloured swash plate and the observant amongst you will notice that it was blue before. So now we're back to matching head, uh, rotor head parts. So uh, yeah, that seems okay. Can't really trim it out because of the uh, nature of the gusty swirly wind but uh, yeah, looks good. Thanks for watching.